You read the title correctly. I'm selling my vending machines. Let's talk about it. you all start to panic don't worry it's only my tower vending machines I'm going to be selling there are many reasons for this but there are still going to be plenty of vending machine videos on the way and there will still be a few collection videos from my tower machines before I sell them this video does not mean the tower vending machine business is a bad idea I'm not saying you shouldn't do it I'm just gonna be telling you why I've chosen to move on from this and go all in on full line vending so the first reason as to why I'm selling my tower vending machines is because I've done what I wanted to do with it. Originally I wanted just one machine, stick it in a barbers and see how it does. I saw the performance that that can make and I then wanted to grow and grow and grow. In the space of three months I had 11 machines in location, both sweets and Pringles. But then a month later I was able to get my first full line vending machine location. Now once this full line vending machine was placed, I realized that this is the route I wanted to go down. The tower vending machines were still doing well, but I really enjoyed the full line vending side of things. So that's reason number one, pretty simple, but I just wanted a change. I've accomplished what I wanted to do with it. Reason two is I just want to use the funds for another machine. All of the machines that I've got once I've sold them will allow me to buy another full line vending machine. As you know, they are not cheap. However, I would prefer to have those funds tied up in that than in tower vending machines when my heart is more into the full line vending side of things. So that's reason number two. So the third reason as to why I'm selling my tower vending machines is because I have another business that I do outside of vending and that business requires a lot of my time. Now doing that, having 11 tower vending machines plus a full line vending machine can get quite hard work. So by freeing up that time, I'm able to put more time into my property business but also still keep a good cash flow by only having to visit one extra location per week so that's the third reason so that's it everybody i hope you enjoyed it it's only a short one um, but i just wanted you to understand everything that's going on in my vending machine business so stick along like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one